Finally got them all. Don't come off. Come off, baby. Come on. There we go. There we go. Alright guys, that's what we're talking about. Pearl Fluke, Eastern River. We'll get him back in the water. It's a nice fish, not as fat as Aki's. A little longer. He got a messed up spot on his tail. Fish on, guys. Fish on. Good one. Good. One. Come to daddy. Come to the that's a fat one. Quick. You gotta be careful with hooks. Gotta be careful. Nice old fat striper. She's getting ready to spawn. See them that fat belly? It's kinda like one hockey caught. We're gonna get her back in the water, get her released. Caught him on the rebel. What's up everyone? Welcome to Max Extreme Fishing Outdoors. Today I'm going to talk to you about my two favorite striper combos. And I use more than these two for striper combos. But these are my two favorite ones. Um, so let's get busy. Let's show you these. It, it's shad season right now. We're catching shad. It's mid March. There are a few stripers showing up. Um, they, they'll start coming in more and more and more. They're really good April through mid may in the eastern north carolina rivers so it's time to start thinking about getting your striper gear ready um like i said i use more than these two but these are my two favorites first one i'm going to show you I'll get it unhooked here it's my bait casting outfit this is abu garcia 6500 c4 it has a clicker i've got 15 pound andy line on it it's on a seven foot medium browning rod. They don't make that rod anymore. So you can just match it up to a really nice seven foot medium or even medium heavy rod. Like I said, I got 15 pound blue Andy line on it. I chose the Andy because they had it in blue and it matched the reel. But Andy's awesome line, one of the best lines made out there. So I use it for a lot of tough, heavy duty fishing. A lot of guys use it salt water fishing. Um, this is an awesome outfit, clicker, thumb bar, cast a mile double paddle handle let me talk to you about double paddle handle i got a video out there for some of my catfish reels and striper reels bottom fishing and when i'm bottom fishing i really like a single handle the power handle but when i'm casting 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 plugs i like the double handle better um you don't have as much power but it, i better just reeling if you're reeling a lot when you're trying to crank in a huge fish in the bottom I like the double paddle handle better. I may not have made that clear in another video, but let's show what I throw with this. A lot of times I'm throwing, this is like a swimming fluke. You can take a, a regular fluke with a little split tail, put it on a jig can and throw it. Um, this got a half ounce head. It will throw these things a mile. Um, I throw my favorite plug with it a lot. This is a five, five and a half, close to six inch Rebel. They don't make this anymore. 
I'll use jointed ones as well, the same size. It will throw these things a long ways. It throws butter bean bucktails. If you don't know what a butter bean bucktail is, let's see if it focuses on that. I don't know if it will. It looks like a butter bean, the head on it. That's a three quarter. This is a half ounce one. These are great for stripers. I throw these big eight inch red fins with it. Other stuff, I throw like big Zara spooks with it. I mean, they'll throw the regular Zara spooks too. Magnum chug bugs. Um, just awesome, awesome. Now also, if you're bait fishing, you can bait fish with this, like it causes a clicker. You don't have to use the clicker, but I like that as well. So it kind of double duties as a bottom reel and a plug reel. I'm just going to show you my second favorite one. Oh, when that reel sells for $149 most places, um, the rod, like I said, is not made anymore. You can probably get one cheaper, cheaper on eBay. But the the reel, it's Cabela's, Bass Pro's, probably about $150 range. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you my favorite spinning outfit for stripers. Awesome, awesome outfit. This is actually my second one I've had like this. The first one I lost fishing down on the coast in the South River, fishing for drum, long story. But a sit on top kayak doesn't have size like canoes and I kicked it over the side and I didn't have it in a rod holder. But anyway, that was an expensive lesson to learn. But anyway, it is a pin conflict two, 3000 size on the Abu Garcia Vendetta rod. I think I paid hundred dollars for the rod. Don't quote me on this, but I'll put all the links in the description. But I'm pretty sure I played 90 to hundred dollars on the rod. I'm fairly sure I paid $150 for the reel, so it was about a $250 outfit. I've got it spooled with 30 pound braid. I go to anywhere from a 20 to a 30 pound fluorocarbon leader. Um, what I use this for mainly in Eastern North Carolina rivers is, is fishing for stripers with a fluke, a weightless fluke. You can skip these under bushes, under trees laying in the water. Eastern North Carolina, these rivers, a lot of times during the day, that especially the smaller ones, they'll be up under the banks, up under trees laying down, and you need to skip them up in the shade, and you need heavy line, you need a good rod to horse them out of there before they get you in, in the um, in the brush and hang you up. But anyway, I love this outfit. I'll put the links to the line and everything, like I said, in the description if they're still available. I know the conflict's still available. Um, but this rod also double duties. I mean, you can throw bucktails with it this is a butter bean bucktail let me see if it'll focus i don't know if that focused or not but if you don't know what a butter bean bucktail is i see it the head is shaped like a butter bean stripers love these in chartreuse and white it's got obviously bucktail it's called a bucktail and it's got a little worm trailer it'll throw this rod will throw these well now i like to throw my favorite plug this rebel this thing's like six inches long. I like to throw it with my bait caster, but this will also double duty. Something happens to the bait caster, I backlash it, get a burn this in it. This will throw this plug really well. It doesn't throw the bigger ones that are a couple inches bigger. It doesn't throw those really well, but that's where the bait caster shines. But this rod will also double duty. It's like inshore for drum, flounder, I've caught big drum with this thing. This thing will get in any drum out there and you know, drum in North Carolina get huge. Um, so this is an awesome, awesome outfit. So these are just two of my favorite outfits. I use others, um, but these are ones I take the most of the time is the, the um, Abu Garcia 5600C4 on that old browning rod. That rod's still not available. And this outfit right here, I take these most of the time striper fishing with me because they just work well. They both cast well. Um, like I said, I'll leave the links in the description. Um, let me know, guys, what you like or didn't like about these outfits. Um, let me know what you like or dislike about the channel, what you want to see more of. Check out my playlist. I've got a playlist for stripers. I'll put it right there, hopefully. If not, I'll have a one for maybe shad or something, but probably striper playlist right there. And do me a favor, guys, hit the subscribe button. It's going to be right there. And I'll see everybody next time. Thanks for watching.